I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. After sunshine, lighter winds and highs 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal in the 50s this afternoon, a large area of low pressure over the northern U.S. leads to slightly unsettled weather late tonight through Saturday. A few showers are possible, even a mix of snow for locations along and north of I-80. Light snow accumulations may occur to the west of Highway 83 tomorrow night into Saturday morning. Lows tonight through Saturday night drop to around freezing. Daytime highs are as low as the mid-40s to the low 50s on Saturday. A warm trend begins Sunday as the ridge of high pressure builds east onto the plains. Highs warm from the low to mid-60s Sunday to the mid-60s to the low 70s. Monday into Wednesday, even some mid-70s over southwest Nebraska and northwest Kansas on Monday. A few showers or thunderstorms may pop up with occasional weak disturbances Sunday night through Wednesday. For the long-term forecast, warmer than normal temperatures Tuesday through the first day of May are very likely in Nebraska and Kansas. Nebraska and Kansas precipitation expected to be above normal Tuesday through May 1st, especially late next week through May 1st. Soil temperatures 4 inches down at 7 this morning, mostly in the upper 40s to the low 50s in much of Nebraska. There were some low to mid 40 soil temperatures from the Sand Hills to the Panhandle. Kansas soil temperatures were in the mid 50s to the low 60s. In the latest regional drought monitor, Nebraska dropped 2 percentage points to 70% drought free. Most of central, western, and northeastern Nebraska are drought free. Areas of abnormal dryness are starting to show up from Dundee to Red Willow County and in portions in the northeast. Moderate to severe drought continues in areas along and south of a line from Ravenna to Columbus to Blair. Kansas dropped 16 percentage points to 3% drought-free with the only drought-free areas currently from near Norton to Smith Center. It's now abnormally dry from much of north central to western Kansas and from areas of Kansas City to Wichita. Much of the northeast to south central parts of Kansas and the southeast are in moderate to severe drought. Key weather factors affecting the markets include possible frost in the plains, a mix of conditions in Europe and the Black Sea, and central Brazil wet season rains coming to an end. Low pressure over south central Canada drifts to the northeast with a trailing cold front sparking rain and thunderstorms the next couple of days in parts of the central and eastern U.S., including severe thunderstorms from the mid-Mississippi Valley into Texas. Lingering moisture across the deep south could lead to heavy weekend rain in portions of the south central U.S., including Texas. Late week and weekend freezes should occur throughout the northern plains and upper Midwest, with temperatures below 32 as far south as eastern Colorado and western Kansas. Across the central and southern plains, there are concerns of frost damage to the developing wheat. For central Brazil, there are signs of consistent wet season rains ending before second crop corn enters the pollination and filling stages. In the eastern two-thirds of Europe, rain lasting through the weekend is unfavorable for a winter wheat that's already too wet. Spotty frost in Europe could cause damage to wheat and delay the corn and other planting. Towards the Black Sea region, rain through next week is limited to western areas, leaving wheat areas in eastern Ukraine and southwestern Russia dry. Corn areas of the northern and western Black Sea region are getting some good rain just as planting begins. With a check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.